We launched Brighter Monday's Best 100 Companies to Work For for a clear understanding of the labor markets in Kenya. The report is a list of the top 100 companies employees want to work for in Kenya. The report was compiled after carrying out a survey asking a series of questions to our audience. We then took all the data, combined it with the keywords based on what the soul of the research was about, which was open-ended employee feedback. The questions were submitted to over 800,000 anonymous respondents in Kenya for a period of one month. This created the list of the best 100 companies employees love to work for. The top companies were number four, Google Kenya. Number three, Engine. Number two, the United Nations. And number one, Safaricom. Joining me is Imano Mutuma, our CEO, Karibu Sanabos. Thank you so much, Pensi. Uh, Emmanuel visited some of the best 100 companies to work for and uh, recognized them for being on the list. What are some of the surprises on the list for you? Wow, for me, I think there were quite a number of surprises, but the ones that stood out for me, uh, let me go with Kenjan. So Kenjan being a government agency, we all have perceptions that, uh, you know, Aparastato cannot be one of the top companies to work for. But after engaging um, the HR director, Mr. Abraham Serem, it came out quite clearly that the employers are quite passionate about the work environment they're in. They have uh, very clear policies and a very strong culture that makes the employees of Kenjen really proud of working there. Here is what Kenjen had to say about them being on the list. There are a number of things I could mention, a few that are quite unique for us. One is that uh, we give our employees freedom to succeed. Um, as we speak today, tomorrow, we're going to have a copy forum. This is communities in best practice. We set aside a whole day for employees to share their innovations, their ideas with the company. And we do it on a quarterly basis in all our operations. And that culminates in an innovations conference every end June, where the best presentations in the copy forums in the areas are presented in a national conference. And some of those ideas are bright ideas that in the past we've actually been able to implement them. And those are business ideas. Very few organizations in Kenya actually do that. I'm a mother of two and uh, the last child I got, I had to sneak to the washrooms at times to do the necessary. but. R lately now, Kenzen have set aside a lactating room for mothers that makes it really work well for mothers. And uh, we have equal opportunities. Both men and women compete equally for the opportunities available. Kenzen is an equal opportunity employer. And um, whether you're a female or a, a male engineer, we are treated equally and you're given equal opportunities. Then uh, the third reason why I enjoy working for Kenjan is remuneration. Uh, I can say that uh, we are paid relatively well uh, considering the effort we put into making the company great. I think many people will agree with you about Kenjan. Yeah. What's the second one? The second one for me was an SME. An SME that we have all seen in the market come up uh, quite strongly, I think on a year year basis. I've seen them winning so many awards in the past, and that SME is Bonfire Adventures. So Bonfire was a good surprise for me because it really stands out as a very strong SME. SME. We have seen them um, in, even on digital platforms coming out strongly and supporting Kenyans who are less privileged, uh, young pupils and students who are passing the exams and sponsoring them for a holiday, just to appreciate the moment. And I think that comes from the heart. And part of it as an extension is branding Kenya as a country. Um, they come out uh, strongly to me, yes, number two. It's a surprise they are still uh, top 50. I expected them to be a higher number. So that's why it's a surprise for me. Congratulations to Bonfire for being on the list amongst very big brands. I think it helps to hear that we are talking about 
prospective uh, job seekers, the talent in the market who have passed through your database. And to hear that you started with 800,000 uh, people reduced to 2,100 and then uh, feedback online, I think that, that's really humbling. We want to grow ourselves and grow our company. So it is one thing for Safaricom to grow, but we also believe that uh, we don't just offer jobs, we offer careers and purpose to our people. And I think that, that would plan very well for you. We would encourage our people to go beyond their special areas of interest. So we are now moving to another area. We say, if you are an engineer or you get a technical background, can you try something in commercial? Can you get doing sales? Uh, we've got some of our engineers, actually, people with a technical background coming to do HR. And they're discovering that actually their calling is actually in a different area. So, so we're trying to spin it around where we're telling people, don't make assumptions that wherever you are seated is what you really are good at. Try something new. And the fact that people are trying something new every other time, it's increasing the learning. And, and we're building more business leaders progressively as opposed to people who are very special to what you call functional leaders over a period of time. One of the things that I think works for us is purpose, people, yeah. and then profit comes in. Okay. Wow. And when you talk of purpose, purpose is transforming lives, and then move to just focus on your people as human yeah. beings. Yeah. And profit will come as as a given. For me, that is that's significant. Yeah. Now with a crash, um, there are nannies who are there, the people who are attending to mm -hmm. that child. So you are actually just you have peace of mind, you don't even need to be there. Yeah. There will be breaks where you can go if it's a lactating mother, again with your with a child, go back again. And at the end of the day you move. Yeah. Our maternity is beyond our regulatory three months, we have four months, but we also work work around for the next six months we can give you uh, flex working. Okay. So you can come late, leave early. And we also we want now to take work to people. Work is not a place, it's a space. So why can we use technology for even lactating mothers mm -hmm. to avoid the traffic jam of Nairobi okay. and uh, If I may put you on the, uh, on the spot. I'm already on the spot. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was your favorite company? Wow, really hard to say. Uh, I think my, my favorite was Centum Investment. I would confidently say that because we have seen an example being set by a leader um, of a strong company which has a very strong vision and translate that vision to employees who take ownership of the company and work for it as if it's their own. So first of all, the pride, you know, we've seen them hitting red lines with their good uh, remuneration packages or bonuses or benefits for their employees. Um, and I think they have set up a really good strong culture uh, for the team. Uh, to enable them achieve the bottom line. So what I would advise other organizations is to take time and invest in their people. At Centum we have taken time to invest in our people and you realize if when you walk around we have a young workforce. So um, we have made sure that we pimp the offices and so that they are able to fit within the work environment. We have robust planning and development programs for them. Uh, wellness programs, a good uh, reward structure that uh, you know is in line with what the market uh, recommends, and many other programs. I always believe that you can never build a business. You take time to build your people, and the people will build the business. So Centum is a place filled with brilliant individuals and what that means is you're in a course of everyday learning. So every day I come in, I will always learn something. At least that's what I've, I've seen over my course of time here. They also allow you to apply yourself in what I call meaningful work. And meaningful work really is something that allows you to truly value it because you're given full ownership of a role or a task and basically the expectation is that you will deliver. Uh, your age notwithstanding, your level of experience notwithstanding, the expectation is you will just deliver and for me that is a very important value to teach because you can apply it across several facets of your life. What would you say is a great company to work for? 
So based on the Bright Amanda the best 100 companies to work for survey, uh, what came out is the first thing is pride. So this is when you ask employees, would you recommend your company to your friends, your colleagues, your family as a, an ideal place to work for? And if people are sharing that it's a really good work environment, they are proud about it. So that's, that's a really fast, strong point that we considered. The second one is on culture. You know, it's been a big topic uh, globally, not just uh, locally. And a good culture um, is an environment that makes employees thrive so that they are very productive. So a culture is set based on the vision of the organization and that stood out as the second point of the best place to work for. The third one is, are there opportunities for career progression? Um, you know, what do we, what does the organization have in terms of growing maybe horizontally or vertically? Do I have a chance of uh, doing something different in the near future? Or am I going to be doing the same thing for a very long time? So people want to be given more responsibilities, people want to grow. So career progression is at that point that stands out really well. Mm -hmm. The fourth one, a point that we addressed from our HR forum, uh, diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, now that we have diverse people in the workspace, may it be gender, um, you know, disability, or uh, less privileged in, in various ways, mm -hmm. we need to have a work, a work environment that is balanced mm -hmm. in a way that there is inclusion. It doesn't have to be equity, like equally in terms of a percentage, but included in a way that is acceptable. And the fourth one is um, remuneration and benefits. So you need to award the employees well. As they serve you and grow your organization to be the bottom line, they also need to grow as people, as a person. That's what gives them uh, ownership. Emmanuel, just before we let you go, what would be your parting shot to anybody watching this video? Got a lot of responses from the 2018 companies to work for, from different organizations. Some of them, yeah, were celebrating because they are at the top, and some of them, you know, were calling to find out why they are not in the list. Mm -hmm. The report was discussed extensively, and I would like to tell the companies that were voted and some that are not voted, that we are looking at a very strong methodology where we include both the internal uh, perception about the company uh, or internal rating about the company and the external perception about the organization. So what our large companies to do is to, in, to be involved in the next coming report which is going to be bigger and better and we shall do this together collaboratively where we need them to send the link to the report to their staff so that they are given an equal chance to be voted as the best companies to work for. So companies should always watch out Companies should always look at their brand in a way that they need to attract the best talent. Mm -hmm. The best talent is not cheap, the best talent is not easy to get, and companies have a role to play uh, to attract good people that are going to be productive for the organizations. And this is an ongoing thing that they need to employ within their culture to ensure that they are viewed both internally and externally in a way that they are attractive and they attract the best talent. Mm -hmm. That was our CEO stick. Now we're going to highlight on the things that stood out from the report. The longer an employee has been with a company, the less happy they seem to be, and they are more likely to leave. Interesting? Senior level employees value job security and proximity. They rated their company's highest and are more likely to stay, as they have these traits in their workplaces. Mid-level employees value pay and proximity. They rated their companies the lowest on average and they are more likely to leave to pursue these traits. Entry level employees value job security and salary highly. Although most of them rated their companies highly, they are likely to leave and pursue these traits. PwC was one of the companies we visited. This is what they had to say. We, we allow our people to actually feel free to suggest improvements, feel that they are part of uh, a team that makes a difference, that moves things from point A to B. We care, we don't treat people as just resources. We want them to feel uh, wholesome, 
uh, they are treated as human beings and that is very, very important. We work together, that's another value, work as a team, take care of one another and uh, you realize that if you want to walk fast, you can walk alone, but if you want to walk far, you walk as a team. The best 100 companies to work for report is a quantifiable way to know what employees are looking for when seeking employment and employers should put in time and resources to make sure they stand out. My name is Panthi Maina, Bortamande's Marketing Manager. You can read the full report on our Career Centre.